Future historians are going to look back to this era and point to a few very key dates. One of them was today. For those of us in social media, it now heralds a return to the Dark Ages. Some of you are probably not aware of what came out of the Supreme Court and the significance of its ruling, but mark my words, we are now dead set on a course for a return to the Dark Ages, a time in history that many people misunderstand. The reason science came to a grinding halt was because of the fear of retribution for having a wrong idea or doing something that might cause an upset in society. Even any little hiccup could be punished by government and the church. And the Supreme Court of the United States has now ruled that peace and stability and predictability is the new triumvirate of gods to be worshipped. And these are the two villains that were put on the court to uphold the values of our Constitution, conservative values, and side in every case and err on the side of freedom. But they have done the exact opposite. They have now ruled that government can resume bullying social media platforms into hiding, censoring, deplatforming anyone they think might be expressing an idea that could possibly be wrong and perhaps cause others to do things that, well, aren't predictable, aren't safe, aren't uh, in keeping with the good order of society. That's what they've done. This is major battlefield of the mind stuff. This is mind control at its highest level. We're not even going to let you see those ideas that we think might influence you in a way that could perhaps possibly cause you to do this other thing that we think might be upsetting. That's the level we're at right now. That's why we talk about the basic fundamental precepts of maintaining control of your own mind, the 24 cognitive biases, the 24 logical fallacies. We're going to put up a brand new video next 24 hours and I'm going to take all of the gloves off. I'll be very honest with you. I'm going to set it at the $5 level. 99.9% .9 of the videos over there, hundreds of them are at the $1 level, $1 a month, even less. You sign it for an entire year. This one I'm going to do, though, the new one, it's going to be a new level in honor of this new level of censorship that has come down from the federal government. They can now resume bullying people into silence and bullying people into being so afraid of having a bad idea or stating something that might be a little bit wrong that they're just going to shut up and would love to have you over there if it's not for you or it's just too much lack of censorship for you no problem fully refundable first 90 days no questions asked and mark my words three minutes and 45 seconds in they just handed the election to Joe Biden because there's nothing more safe and predictable than just continuing with the same guy who's been in charge for the last four years. See, that's the safe and predictable choice. And the government is now going to go full bore, pardon the term there, B-O-A-R, in dealing with with any ideas that might upset any apple carts, change any directions. And that was the main fear. That was the main fear back then. You see, whether you agreed with Christianity or agreed with the church or disagreed with it, at that time, it was the glue that held society together. It might have been while the way they were going about it at that time, you know, wildly wrong. But it was what everybody believed, and it was what everybody knew and was predictable. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are like, Florida Maquis, Biden is so unpopular. And Trump is, oh, have you seen the rallies and all this? 
How many of you were around in 2012? How many of you were around in 2012? See, at this time in 2012, there was huge groundswell of support building up around Mitt Romney. And by October, Mitt Romney was ahead of Barack Obama by seven points in a Gallup daily tracking poll. That was only a month before the election. He was up by seven points. And there were all sorts of polls going into you know September and August, the end of summer, that showed that, that Romney was going to win. Romney was going to win, but what happened? We know what happened. Now, some might say Florida Maquis, and you said full bore. Didn't you mean to say B-O-R-E, full bore? No, I didn't. Because I remembered a cartoon that I had kept in a file that I thought was really funny one day to roll out for psychological operations. Many people, virtually everybody, knows the story of the three little pigs. But nobody knows about the fourth little pig. You see, the fourth little pig's house was made of wolf skulls. Not really sturdy and not very practical, but they do send a message. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are like, yeah, we get the idea. You see, even the house of brick, the wolf could have waited outside. Pig's got to come out sometime. The pig's got to come out sometime. And what do we know? They're a pig and I'm a wolf. And as soon as they step one foot outside of that house of brick, that third house, I'm going to get them. Well, you see, this kind of changes the calculus. And some might think, well, wait a minute. No pig is no is a match for any wolf. Those of us who live in the South are right now falling on the floor laughing because there are all sorts of pigs down here who are way more than a match for wolves. And a lot of wolves are smart enough to steer clear of the large herds of heavily tusked, mean, not so, well, They're not very bright, but they are mean as shit. Boars that roam through southern woods. And they can get really big. And there have been men who have been out hunting, armed, who have fallen prey to these animals. Some might say, wait a minute, why didn't they just get one round off, get two rounds off? These things come in massive packs out of nowhere. And they get you off your feet and... Knock a rifle out of your hand, you're done. You are toast. And some might say, this might be the way forward to fix things. I'll give you this link. Uh, Mississippi hunter and Florida trapper survive wild pig attack, and it'll probably surprise a lot of you how much damage these animals can do. You think about Florida, and you think about snakes, and you think about gators and spiders and sharks. Many people... Only those who live here in the South um, know the danger of these animals. It's the reason, the primary reason, wolves learned and adapted, and they don't go after boars unless they're bringing friends, and lots of them. Kind of reminds me of this, if you want to take on the federal government, you're going to need F-15s and nukes. Well, guess what? It might be time to uh, stop the whole lone wolf nonsense that has permeated a lot of conservatives. That they just want to be all by themselves and they're going to be the the solution to water the tree of liberty just, you know, based on their time at the range and what they can do. It might be time to team up. It might be time to team up. It might be time right now to start. Because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to predict it right now with what the Supreme Court just did by overturning a lower court's ruling and allowing the federal government to bully social media, they are in essence now handing control of social media to the government in June of an election year. And that's pretty much game over. Is it? As good as Trump is, as great as the rallies are, 
Obama got clobbered in a debate. I'm sure a lot of people are like, wait till you see the debate, monkey. Wait. Romney clobbered Obama in a debate. It caused it caused in one week, I think a six or eight point swing. Romney was was behind in virtually every poll by six or seven or eight points. And all of a sudden he was winning and pulling away. And from that point on, everybody thought, you know, Romney was going to win. And then it was total stun and shock back in 2012 when Obama won by 2 million votes. That's what's going on right now. There's a lot of people out there that, uh, haven't been paying attention since Roe v. Wade. They thought they, you know, had their win. Um, and even now, we have another very strange occurrence with something that wasn't supposed to be leaked from the Supreme Court accidentally regarding abortion. Second time in a year. Second time. Actually, maybe in a couple years. That something got posted that wasn't supposed to be posted. Now, censorship is a funny thing. This is where I lose a lot of conservatives. You see, a lot of people, and I save this for the end of the video, just to make the point. This is kind of what we talk about a lot at the Patreon channel. You see, the idea of censorship, shouldn't government do this because this, stop, censor these people because they could cause harm? Could cause harm. Could cause harm. There have been people saying that me showing these images, you don't need to do that, and it's, it's you know, you're, you're causing a stumbling block, and you're doing all this other stuff, and I thought we lived in a country where there was freedom and liberty, and yeah, sometimes you see things you don't like. I see things every, every day I don't like. And you can choose to get offended and have it ruin your day, or you can just, you know, hey, we live in a free country, teach their own. Or, like some people do, they go and demand, like they have with my channel, this guy needs to be silenced. Things that he says about Antarctica are provably wrong. Things that he says about Venezuela, I don't agree with. Things that he shows from the beaches in Florida are just not necessary. You need to uh, throttle his channel. You need to uh, turn down the volume and, oh, what's the term? Shadow ban him, because... You know, we know for sure that that's not the truth we want out there. Wasn't it Pontius Pilate said, what is truth? See, that's the real story of the Dark Ages. It was about fear. It was about fear of being wrong. Of having a quote-unquote wrong idea. There were guys out there trying to uh, mix all sorts of things together to create gold. They were alchemists. And we know now, of course, that gold is an element. And elements are elements. But there were people out there so afraid of expressing ideas or saying things or doing things that could upset anybody's apple cart anywhere that the church and the government at the time, they, they worshipped the god of stability of, well, I guess you could call it law and order, truly, that at all costs, at all costs, maintain stability, maintain predictability, so that everybody can walk out of their door and everybody knows exactly what's going to happen tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day, and they'll never be offended by anyone anywhere. That's the logic here. This is Coney Barrett and Kavanaugh. I'm not going to read the opinion for you, but basically, in a nutshell, what they are saying is that the people who said that they were being harmed, the ones who brought the case against the government said, hey, government, we're, a lower court ruled with the people. A lower court said, yes, we're going to issue an injunction against the government. They may not go meet with social media and tell them what they can and can't post or even suggest what they can and can't post, that's an improper role of government. A lower court ruled that. What these people, 6-3 to three decision, by the way, wasn't even close. 6-3 to three decision, what these people, including Trump appointees, said, was that, well, 
The people who are alleging that they could be harmed by the government suggesting what truth is to social media really have no standing to speculate in the future that they called it speculative. They said, well, just to say that you might be harmed by something that the government might do doesn't rise to the level of standing. Even though there's voluminous amounts regarding COVID of information showing that the government suppressed things that were not harmful, that were absolutely correct and very politically motivated. This is what's happened today. It is one of those events that rem- reminds you of the early days of the Fourth Reich, Third Reich. This is going to be the fourth of what they were doing. You won't find it on the top of uh, mainstream media's things to report. They're reporting it, but they're burying it with other things. I know it's a big statement to say, wow, that's a big statement right now, given how um, low Biden is in the polls and how nobody you know wants to uh, uh, be associated with him. But right now, it's not about him. Right now, and this, I guess maybe I shouldn't have buried this 16 and a half minutes in, it isn't going to be about Biden versus Trump. The election will not be about Biden versus Trump. It's going to be about stability, parentheses D, and give it, giving this guy his fair shake, giving him his eight years. For his year, you know, years and years of service, he has now achieved the level of president, and, you know, he deserves to have his eight years. And besides, we're controlling everything from the background anyway. And we want uh, parentheses D, parentheses D ideas to move to the forefront. We'll just have this guy once again as a, a puppet, a figurehead. And, you know, even after once we, if once we get him elected and we have control, then, then we can maybe make moves. Once we have him elected and once we have control of the executive branch, then maybe we can move people around. And then maybe he can, you know, turn over the reins to Kamala Harris. But that's what this is about. So that they can control social media. So that they can go just in, no more changes. This changing of directions every four years. We got to stop this. That's what they're going to do. That's what this is all about. And I would caution people to remember, those of you who are old enough to remember, how excited everybody was about with Obamacare and uh, getting rid of Obama and uh, you know replacing him. And there was massive amounts of energy behind Mitt Romney. And he got beat. Let's share this again. He was up seven points in a Gallup poll. October 11 to 17. Margin of error was plus or minus 2%. He was going to be a shoe in Everybody thought this, just like they th- they're thinking this now. I'll give you this link too. This is Pew Research. It's it's a lot of, of dry crap, but when you read through here, you see the, the, the uh, before and after polling information, after the debate, huge swings. The, the blue is uh, Obama and the red is Romney here. Massive, 73 to 82. In, in just one month, he went from 73 to 82 on the chart of uh, energy or enthusiasm, and Obama dropped to from 69 to 67. Romney was, was winning virtually everything. Improving the job situation and federal budget deficit and dealing with taxes, Romney was winning, 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 winning. And it all changed. It's a very different time now, of course, but history is repeating itself. So I will leave it there. Um, Once again, next 24 hours, this video is probably going to uh, cost me a few people because I get it every day. It's like, you don't need to show that image. We get the point. You don't need to 
Now it's about censorship. Many people don't uh, have a concept of the difference between nudity and pornography, and that alone right now is, to my mind, the primary reason we are losing the demographic war and why global birth rates have fallen. Some might not see that, but once again, stuff we can only talk about over the Patreon channel. Love to have you. Once again, $1. That's it. $1 a month. The next video we're going to put up is going to be the $5 and up, folks, just because it's going to be that controversial. But if you sign up at the $1 level, that's what you can afford. Don't worry. We, we just put up a video a few days ago um, over there, and there's, like I said, at the $1 level, hundreds of videos. A lot of Patreon guys, you know, they have 20, maybe 25 videos. Been doing Patreon over there for six years, going on seven. And there are hundreds of videos over there. No lie, I think 300, we're up, up over 300 now. So plenty of content. Love to have you. And once again, fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me, I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.